mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. Man, here's the 12 tribes of Israel. If you are on this sign right here, man, you, are, you need to understand that this book right here is holy unto you, man. You understand? It's not for the entire world. It's to, it's to give us some knowledge and to, and to edify us so that we understand what's going on. And black people, it's something very beautiful that's going on right now that you should acknowledge that the Lord is doing to America and this entire globe. Right now, the Lord, the God that's created everything, is destroying this earth, man. It's destroying these kingdoms, and it's prophesied inside of the Bible. America and the white man, I know you thought that America was going to stand forever. Guess what? The Romans thought so too. The Greeks thought so too. Egypt thought so too. Babylon thought so too. Assyria thought so too. All of the kingdoms in previous time past that was the superior kingdoms on this earth, they all thought they were going to last forever. They all thought that they was going to keep blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, Salagi, so brother, that they was going to keep uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians under their footstool. They all thought the same thing, man, and their kingdom was down. America, your kingdom is going to go down too, man, according to the Bible. It's going to happen. You don't, you don't have a rubric that's fit to last very long. You understand? You picture a culture that revolves around death. You understand? That's the culture that you push from your home quality to your crack to your heroin to your to your uh, black and mild to your cigarettes to your capones to your blunts to your to all of the things that you push on blacks and spanish and native american indians all of your all of everything you push your culture it's all surrounded around death your alternative lifestyles are surrounded around confusion right. which leads to death man right. and blacks and spanish and native american indians we should we should do what the bible says and separate away from this away from this wicked beast, man. Right. We should separate away from them because their culture doesn't benefit us. What benefits black people is following a black God. Right. That's what benefits black people. And we have yet to follow that. Our leaders have yet to teach us that. They had their fun. But they, but they didn't understand that the lives of blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are not to be taken for play play. Right. It's not to be taken lightly, man. The God's chosen people is not to be taken lightly. That's, that's righteous blood, man. That's holy blood that this earth has, has spilt and taken advantage of and done spoiled through their philosophies, man. You understand? Take me over to the end of Apocrypha, the second edge of chapter 6, verse 9. You understand? Take me over to the second edge of chapter 6, verse 9. Black man, understand, we're not just up here blabbing our mouths. You understand? We know what we're talking about. You understand? that this Bible is 100% real. I don't care what the rest of the world want to tell you. All of that is nonsense. Name another book that tells you that the white man is going to go into slavery. Right. Show me that in your book. Right. Show me that in your belief. Right. Now, the rest of the world wants us to join hands together. I'll be damned. Right. Why in the hell would I teach my children to forgive our slave masters who didn't give a damn about us? Why would I teach our children to, to, to serve our oppressors? Why would I teach them that? All of these other religions and faiths and ideologies want everybody to come together. That's foolish. That's babble. That's confusion. There's a reason why the Lord gave Hebrew to blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. There's a reason why the, why the Chinese got their culture and the rest of the world got their culture. Black man, you never knew that you had a culture of your own. And it's in the Bible, man. Real black culture is in the Bible. It is not talking about everybody else. Right. You understand? But there is something you should understand. This world is coming to an end. You got hurricanes every time I look up, Shabbat. You got a hurricane every day. You think that's a coincidence. You got a tornado every day. Natural disasters off the charts. Heat waves off the charts. Deaths off the charts. Mass shootings off the charts. Viruses off the charts. You got a new strand every single day. Right. Every single day. And you don't think, and you think this is a coincidence? Nah, man. This ain't no coincidence. This is God showing his face on this earth, man. Right. And this is just the trailer. This is just the trailer. You got to understand this right here. Let's listen to what God say. Read. Chapter 6, verse 9. Excellent. 
For Esau is the end of the world. For who? For Esau is the end of the world. For who? For Esau. The white man. Esau is the end of the world. I hear what the Bible is saying, man. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau, you, go, you are going to perish in this, in this time frame, man. You understand? Your kingdom is going, to, is going to come to an end. You are not going to rule over blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians forever. According to the Bible, you understand? Grab your fly right here, brother. According to the Bible, it says Esau is the end of this world. Right. And that's prophesied in the scriptures. And it's going to happen. You see it right before your face. Donald Trump done turned himself in. You better stop playing, Donald Trump. You, you know you got Mr. Three Strike in office right now. Right. That's one strike for you. You get two more, man. That's life. You understand? You be serving a uh, 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 time behind bars. You understand? You did the crime. You got to do the time. Ain't that what you did to blacks and Hispanics? Huh? We did the crime, and we had to serve the time. The president of the United States, one of the former presidents of the United States, that turned himself in. You understand? America is coming to an end. And you can want him to be a leader all day long. You let Donald Trump or who was Evans in office, it don't matter who it is, according to the Bible, it's going to be led into the Third World War. You understand? It's going to be led to the Third World War. You can put all of your faith into America all you want, but that is that is failed black people in times past. This Bible has shown us when we decided to trust into our oppressor, when we decided to trust into the Africans, when we decided to trust into the heathen, guess what, man? It failed us. Right. It failed us because we watch for a nation that cannot deliver us from our troubles, man. That cannot deliver us from our troubles. You wanna, if you black or in America, a, a Hispanic in America, you want to be delivered from your troubles, you got to come back to serving your God, man. Right. You got to come back to serving your God. The Bible says this, keep reading. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of that Y'all get that ball. And Jacob is the beginning of that which follow up. You see these 12 tribes right here. That's the nation of Israel. That's Jacob right there. That's us. It says we're the beginning of that which follow us. Why? Because Esau, whether you like it or not, which is the white man according to the Bible, the colonizer, the oppressor, whether you like it or not, you're not fit to lead the world. The only thing you've done is destroy. The only thing you've done is bomb. The only thing you've done in your leadership is destroy blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. That's what you've done in your leadership, man. And everything on this earth has shown how they've hated you. That's go ask the dodo bird that no longer exists. The animals hate you. Go look up in the sky and look how the sky is destroyed. The ozone layer is destroyed because you have shown destruction and cancer on this earth in your leadership, man. And you're not a good leader, man. And God is going to destroy you. That's in the Bible. You sit here wondering why can't we all just love? Why can't we all just love? Because you don't love nobody. Because you don't love nobody. So God got to put you down. God got to put you down. You was a vagabond on this earth and colonized the entire earth. When Christ comes back, you're going to have a home. And it's going to belong in a cage. Right. And it's going to belong in a cage. You understand? Drop that scripture. Take me over to Ezekiel 35. You understand? On a plantation, that's going to be your home, man. You understand? Slave quarters. You understand? Across this globe. America, you're going into slavery. White man, you're going into slavery. The rest of these races on the earth, you're going into slavery. And it's because you deserve it. What type of God do you think this is? You think you can just get away with what you've done to his children? Would you let uh, uh, somebody get away that harmed and wronged and committed a crime against your children? No, you wouldn't. So we're on the same page then. If that's the case, then you should understand that the God of Israel is not forgiving none of you nations for what you did to his children. It's not going to happen, man. Justice will, will abide on this earth. You understand when Christ comes back. And there's a reason why God is going to destroy you. It's inside of the Bible. We're not just making this up. We're not just talking emotions and feelings. No. This is actual factual. And it's written in the Bible. You don't want to believe me? Let's see what God says. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Read. Look at Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had... Why? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. A continuous hatred. That's why God is going to put you down, man. A continuous hatred against who? And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Of the children of who? Israel. Of who? Israel. Black man. Is Hispanic man, is Native American Indian, is the woman that you call mother?
The Bible said you said what? Shed the blood of the children of Israel. That's why God got to put you down, America. Right. That's why God got to put you down, Mr. Oppressor. That's why God got to do it. Because it shed the blood of the children of Israel perpetually. Right. You showed hatred perpetually for the last 400 years. Right. Since it came over here in your ships. Before the ships, you showed your hatred towards blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. Right. And for that... God got to put you down because why? You done become way too comfortable. Right. You done made black people believe that nobody has to pay for lynching. You done made black people today believe that nobody got to pay for putting heroin in our neighborhoods. Right. Black women walking around strung up on your drugs. You done made black people believe that ain't nobody got to pay for that. Well, I'll be done. Christianity is one hell of a drug, man. Christianity is one hell of a drug. You stand out here long enough, you gonna get the medicine. You stand out here long enough, you gonna get the medicine, man. And you know what the medicine is, black man? We all looking for this magical thing. We all looking for this magical thing. Listen, man, the truth is the medicine, man. That's what it is. The Bible says, buy the truth and sell it not. Buy the truth and sell it not. Invest into the truth and sell it not. Because that's what you're gonna need in these end times, black man. That's what you're going to need. Read it from the top. Look at Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel uh -huh. by the force of the sword. By the force of what? Of the sword. By the force of what? The sword. That's what's going on with you, Mr. Oppressor. You said I would blow with the force of the sword, man. So Christ's going to send a sword against you and see how you like it. You want to shoot us up and down the street. You understand? You want to wage all of your weapons of warfare on us. Let's see how you like it when, 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 our, when our king comes back and puts you down, man, righteously. Right. You understand? Keep reading. In the time of their calamity, uh -huh. in the time that their iniquity had an end, in the time when their iniquity had an end, we disobeyed our God, right? We disobeyed our God, and we had to go into servitude. We had to go into punishment. But who told Mr. White Man to rape us? Huh? Who told, who told Mr. Whitey to, to abduct our children? Who told Mr. Whitey to break up our families? Huh? Who told him to do that? We were serving punishment, right? You give your child a punishment, they serve him. Who told Mr. White Man to slam our children on the ground? Huh? Who told him to do that? You're going to find out that God is going to put down America righteously. Because you earned it. Right. You really thought you was going to get away with the crimes that you commit against us daily? Daily? You out of your mind, man. You're going to have to serve punishment, man. Just like the rest of us. Just like the rest of us, right? Y'all say equality, equality, equality. No sweat. You gave us 400. God got 800 plus for you. And God got 800 plus for you. You sold black, you sold black people for 400 years. You oppressed black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians for over 400 years. Equality is fine with me, no problem. You gave us 400, you got to get 800 and then some, man. According to God at that, you understand? According to God, drop that scripture, take me over to Revelation 12 and 12. Black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, understand this. I know you see our oppressor squirming around, don't know what to do, worming around, don't know what to do with their lives. That's because they know they got but a short time. Because why? The United States of America is on fire as we speak. Y'all saw that smoke come down here from Canada. Y'all see them fires over there in Hawaii. Every time you turn on your news, it's a hurricane. Every day. Every day is a natural disaster, man. God's showing his face, and it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Why? Because Esau know they got but a short time. They got a short time. They rulership is almost over, man. You understand? Black people use the rest of this town to join with another Hispanic. Use the rest of this town to join with another Native American Indian, man. You understand? Now it's high time that we come back to this understanding. And they know it. That's why they're up and they're oppressing on us. You understand? That's why they're taking and breaking away our families. That's why they're kicking in the door. The police officers are showing the true colors. You understand? They showing that the boys in blue is really is really the oppressor. They showing that they really showing their hatred towards black people. You see it every day on the news. Every day on the news, you see it in your military. You see it in the police force. It's showing. 
Because why? They know that they, they rule the ship over. If you know that you're about to get that game taken away from you, what you gonna do? You gonna try to play a little bit longer. You gonna, you gonna try to play a little bit longer. You gonna try to really beat the ball. You gonna take it full court. You gonna go harder. You gonna put everything you got. Well, in spirit, that's what our oppressors doing right now. That's what they're doing right now. Because they know that this thing right here ain't gonna last forever. These things don't fall. You understand? You understand? Every state in America, every landmark in America is going to fall by the hand of God, man. You understand? Read what I want. If y'all don't believe me, it's in the scriptures. Revelation 12 and 12. Nice and loud. Book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Say it again from the top. Therefore, rejoice. Do what? Rejoice. Do what? Rejoice. Ye heavens. And ye that dwell in it, woe uh -huh. to the inhabitants of the earth. What did it say? Woe? Woe. Say it again. Woe. Destruction. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. The Bible says woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, man. If y'all don't know what woe means, woe means destruction. The Bible is prophesying destruction in this place. Keep reading. And of the sea, Keep going. for the devil is come down unto you. Of the who? The devil. For the who? It's the white man. You're the, the devil. Say it again. Devil. The Bible says this. Understand this, man. You are precious. You are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. You are. That's what God wants. And that's what God says. And the priests and prophets of old knew it back then. And the priests and prophets of today know it today, man. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You understand? Keep reading. It's come down onto you. Having great wrath. Now you are the devil that the Bible speaks of. And you come down on black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians with great wrath. You drug us. You fed us your ideology. You fed us your holidays. You poisoned our food. You took our neighborhoods. You took our families. You came with wrath down on the children of Israel. You understand? With great wrath. Like the Florida shooting in Jacksonville. You understand? You came down with great wine and you do it every day. You're showing your colors, man. And you ain't doing nothing but make black people understand this Bible even more. Because right. you're showing your colors right here, man. Keep reading. Because he knows that he has but a short time. Read it from the top. Go, go. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. So the devil is come down onto you. It's a white man. You're the devil that the Bible speaks of, right? We got that clear. Keep reading. Having great wrath. Having what? Great wrath. Hayden Gintron in the mass shooting in Buffalo, New York. Say it again. Great wrath. Come down onto you. Great wrath. Come down onto you. Having great wrath. And the Hispanic children that's locked in cages on the border and the land that you stole from them. Read it again. Come down onto you. Having great wrath. You understand your mass shooters that you've done with us. Healing storm roof coming down with great wrath. Say it again. Coming down onto you. Having great wrath. You understand? Jacksonville shooting. Shooting that black Hispanics and Native American Indians. Read it again. Come down onto you. Black Hispanics and Native American Indians. This devil that the Bible is speak of has come down unto you with great wrath. Right. When you are shedding blood. When you have to bury your child before you die. That is coming down unto you with great wrath. And it ain't just anybody that did this unto us. The Bible says the devil has come down unto you. You looking for a red man and a pitchfork and a tail and a fiery underworld, man. The devil is this bastard right here. This the devil right here, man. You looking for a, red, a, a fiery red man and, and with horns and a pitchfork. Black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, this the devil right here that did what? Come down. Come down onto you. Having great wrath. This man right here came down unto black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians with great wrath, has shed the blood of the children of Israel, man. God's chosen people, they confused you. They took your identity. They took your language. They took your culture. They took your holidays. They took your way of life. That's why we broke it up today. You don't know that the Bible is your way of life. You don't know that another black man is your brother. That another Hispanic man is your brother. You don't know that. Because this man took it from me. Right. This man right here took it from me. This is what our grandmothers and our grandfathers was fed. 
This nonsense right here, man. This, this, this image alone, don't look at this as just some picture. All that is waving around some fake image of Christ. No, this is the beast that the Bible speaks of. Right here. This ain't just any picture. You look at this picture, you tell your grandmama to take it off the wall, man. Right. You understand? You get out of that church. You have to understand that this person right here, that this place of people right here, have destroyed us. Have tampered with our lives. Have tampered with our culture. You understand that we die following this wicked beast, man. Damn that beast right there, man. You understand? Where we at? Keep reading. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has but a short time. Because he knows that he has but a short time. Give me Romans 13 and 11. Our oppressor knows that this is the end of their kingdom. The United States of America is going to become the United States of destroyed. Right. America is going to be destroyed by the hand of God. This world is going to get some fixing, man. You understand? That's why the Bible says you're the end of the world. And Jacob, you're the beginning of that with followers. You understand? Christ then put in the work for this thing. Christ then put in the work for this thing. And he is going to sit on the throne. Rightfully so. You understand? Give me what I want. No, now, now that you're going to hold this. Now that you know that Christ is going to come back. Now that you know that America is not going to stand forever. Now that you know that we're in the end times. What should you do? Give me 13 and 11. Read it from the top nice and slow and loud. Read. And that knows that the time. Right. And that knowing the time. And now. That now. That one. That now. That when? That now. That time is now, blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians. That time is now, blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians. Now is the time that we wake up because God wants to send back Christ. God wants to bathe the streets of America in the blood of our oppressor. God wants to do it, man. And the Bible says the time is now. Keep reading. That now. Uh -huh. It is. Uh -huh. High time. It's what? High time. It's what? High time. To awake. To do what? To awake. To stay sleep. To awake. To stay sleep. To awake. Keep going. Out of sleep. Now is the time that we wake up out of our sleep. Now is the time that we wake up to the truth. It's high time. It will behold you that we wake out out of the sleep. What is the sleep? Creates Christianity. What is the sleep? All of these holidays. What is the sleep? The philosophies of this world. The sleep is what? Loving everybody. The sleep is what? God loves everybody. The sleep is what? Following every other God. That's the sleep. And the Bible says to awake out of that sleep. Keep reading. No God. For now is our salvation. Say what? For now. For one. For now. For one. For now. For one. For now. Black man, listen to this. What is time for our salvation? For what? For now. For now. Go ahead. It's our salvation. Who's salvation? Our salvation. Black man. Our salvation. Hispanic man. Our salvation. Native American Indian man. For now. It's our salvation. The Bible says now is our salvation. Now that you know this, now that the truth is being brought up to you, you wake up out of that sleep. You get up out of that Christian church. You get up out of there, you come serve your God. You come serve the nigga God. You come serve the God of this way. Black man, you have a God of your own. And it's not the white man. It's not the Arab God. It's not the East Indian God. It's not the Ethiopian God. It's the God of black Hispanics and Native American Indians. That's who the God is, man. Black man, you understand? Grab your flyer. Get in class. Come serve the Lord. Come back. We in the end times right now. God is destroying America. I know it seems like all laughing and joke. Hawaii was laughing and joking too. And now they're running around with their swimming trucks on fire. You understand with that shalom, BC. Yeah. Babylon is falling